Welcome back. We have this lovely married couple, Rob and Linda Kessler, and they are here to showcase their million dollar collar. Tell yes. us a little bit about this, you guys. So um, basically it's like a collar stay, except it goes down this part of the shirt. You know, most people don't wear ties anymore. So, you know, I didn't want to walk around looking sloppy. This all came about when uh, we got married in Jamaica. We actually met on the beach in Milwaukee and got married on the beach in Jamaica. Wow. 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 And so, you know, before I even said I do, my shirt was just, I was just tugging at it all day, <laughs> and it was a chill beach wedding. I wasn't going to wear a tie. And I looked at my photos, and I was like, man, this just, just, just drove me crazy. I just hated the way it looked. So I came home. I literally started cutting open every dress shirt I had. I found every piece of plastic I could find in my house and just started testing and ruining <laughs> shirts left and right. And <laughs> Milk cartons, mini blinds. I mean, any mini blinds. Anything, 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 else. anything just I to could find. prove a concept. Uh -huh. I thought I was nuts, and now I realize <laughs> that we have this in common because it's driven me nuts. I have a friend, Melanie Whittle, and uh, she's a stylist, and she says the one thing about impeccably dressed men is their collar's always perfect, Rob. Mm -hmm. So I'm always, of course, now, like, mm -hmm. that's why today I had to wear you the t-shirt because I was like, I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> but I People always, hate me because yeah. they're like, now I see every single, I can't wear any other shirt no. that doesn't have a million dollar collar. And it's mind blown because you can buy the most expensive shirt but the collar just won't stay. Mm -hmm. So this is just brilliant. So how did you feel about this when he's ruining all of his shirts, <laughs> proving a concept? Are you like, uh? Well, the first thing is the placket. And most people don't know what a placket is. They know what a collar is. But they call the collar anything that frames a face. So now, first of all, we're talking about something we don't even know exists, placket, where the button and buttonholes are. And then it was, I don't know what you're doing. And like, I'm ready. And he's still wearing his shirt. And I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> he's like spraying and on yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, every, it actually, every because it doesn't exist, and we're used to seeing dress shirts how they are, when you see it upgraded, you're like, oh. Interesting. So I, at first, didn't know what he was even talking about. So now it's it's a visual thing. Because like a collar placket, something that's upright and not. So it's, yeah. Is this something you can throw in the washer as a dry clean only? It took three years to develop a material that could be installed once and just wash, dry, iron, dry clean, launder. It doesn't matter what you do to the shirt. It will last for the life of the shirt. And I have, yeah. I have shirts with 100 presses on, and I talk to a lot of dry cleaners, and they're like, we don't ever do shirts rarely 100 yeah. times. I mean, 60 is about as many times. So they have to that. buy the actual shirt. They can't install it in other No, shirts. it's an aftermarket. It goes you into can. any dress okay. shirt. Oh, I got wow. this shirt yesterday, and I from my friend Susan at J. Hilburn. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I got this yesterday and uh, upgraded last night. I taught myself how to sew. It takes like five, six minutes to put in any shirt. And once it's in, wow. it's just in. Yeah. So you could take it down to your dry cleaner that has the seamstress in there. And yep. He exactly. or she could put it in. Yeah, yeah seamstress I'm going to be honest with you. Because <laughs> I have gone through so many shirts just trying to get it right and do it like, you, like with the spray starch. I use mm -hmm. double stick, stick tape, like everything. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you can literally spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a really great shirt, and still the placket is just all right. crumbled up. You know, you get that softer fabric, and then it's got even less structure to it. Right. And, you know, shirts really weren't designed to be worn without a tie. But the fact is, is up to 90% of shirts now are worn without a tie. And right. so the shirts haven't caught up to trends, really, and we just have the one product that actually fixes it. Wow. What was the hardest part about this business? Was it actually coming up with the design? Um, for the product itself? Was it distribution? Was it marketing? What's been the most difficult part of the journey for you? It's been a big education, you know, because like Linda said, nobody knows what a placket is. Mm -hmm. You know, we call it million dollar collar because that's at least gets people in the right area of the shirt. Um, so educating people what the actual difference is from a collar stay to a placket stay. Um, and then it's really getting some of the old, big guys to get their head around this change. Mm -hmm. Uh, shirts have been pretty much made the same way for about 100 years, and there have been a lot of changes, and this is a pretty dynamic change. So um, we hear a lot of no's, as John said, so I keep, <laughs> keep running through my nose. I, I, I find it really interesting. I mean, so you get married, you're a newly married couple, and you're building a business together. Couple. Multiple businesses, <laughs> yeah. So I, I owned a gym called The Transformation Room. Oh, so wow. I did um, TRX and Pilates, and I worked for um, brands like Insanity, Beachbody, TR, uh, TRX Matrix, and I do fitness modeling for them. So I was working on that. He was working on a screen printing company, work, and then trying to do get the patent on this. So we do have the patent Ooh, on the dog collar. So mm -hmm. that was that was a task in itself, oh, yeah, <laughs> actually yes. getting a U.S. patent. And then we're like, hey, let's move to California because we are sick of Wisconsin winters where we know what negative 75 feels like. 
Wow. Galilee. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're like, okay, let's move across the country. If we're going to start this adventure and get the patent, we're going to do this. Let's just start over and focus on one thing. And so that's we moved to California and Los Angeles. And so we could focus 100% on Million Dollar Caller. And the creativity and the atmosphere here in Los Angeles and the like-minded go-getter attitude is phenomenal to be surrounded by. Wow. So La La Land, right? Yes. Uh, Everybody's fulfilling yes. their dreams. And yes. you're like, oh, some, and what do they say? One out of eight businesses doesn't make it. But this is brilliant. I mean, honestly, I can think of I mean, every single man wears shirts, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like you have a pretty big market. And I love the name of it because it's like a big affirmation goal at the same yeah. time, right? Yeah. It's, yeah. Like like a sub, yeah, right? And it's like a sub, subconscious, like, reprogramming for people when they wear these shirts they're going to be very successful long term really, right? well yeah. girls we have so many options to wear we have dresses we have jumpers we have dress shirts we have blouses we have god knows what men they want to look nice we have a suit and we have you know dress up like this looks beautiful and then a dress shirt what other options do you have to look nice yeah. so now it's taking the dress shirt to the next level so you can look nice but casual and just have more of a suave look than just always having a tie in and always being like just over the top or, or and there's nothing wrong with the tie and you know you could do um many other options but it's just nice to have that more casual upscale look mm -hmm. i love that i love that so much you guys it's really a cool story and i love that i'm sure john's helped you with your story around it but i love the idea that you guys were getting married and it was something like like there's a concern about a, a guy's sure like who cares about that but guys <laughs> care, but guys care about that yeah, and we yeah. don't even realize that as women we don't think that, you know, because guys won't tell us that generally. They will just have their own little conversation. About it. <laughs> I, I just watch Rob Vision with his collar the whole time. Yeah. And then he'll be like FaceTiming his friend Melanie and she's like, fix your collars. <laughs> In between seconds, I'm like, texting. she's like, you better fix that collar, Rob. I don't have that problem anymore. I told John I know what I'm doing every morning. I'm coming here with my sewing machine. And I'm going to turn anybody who goes on. Oh, man, I'm just that. So. So and that's the best thing. You have like a six foot two tattooed man with a sewing machine and he's <laughs> just like, awesome. the one thing he knows how to do is yeah i can't have so, pants but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's that in itself is a great story so where can people find the million dollar collar uh the easiest place is on our website or amazon but if they go to our website we did uh we got a 15 percent discount code for all the viewers cool. uh, g m l l l all right oh, nice that. and easy yes i, I know that. what my dad's getting for father's day <laughs> yeah. with for the promo sure. code brilliant so. idea guys congratulations thanks on getting so your patent and stuff so looking forward to watching it all unfold for you for sure yeah. thanks Thank so you. stay tuned you guys we will be right back we're going to bring everybody back stay tuned for more transformation